I'm JC with FX Insights, the owner, developer, and creator of TradingView Toolkit and Thinkorswim Toolkit. I am introducing and reviewing the use of time frames and how to set those up on the TradingView.com chart package. As I set up these time frames and we cycle through each of them, I'm going to go through some pro trading principles and pro trading methods to identify some key technical levels and then once we're finished with each time frame I'm going to go back through all of them and sort of explain what those implications are so I am going to be using some of the pro trading principles and methods from my pro trading seminar so to kind of get started and familiarize yourself with what I'm going to be discussing as we set up these time frames and learn how to use them is go to youtube.com slash user slash CIS trading and there are some videos for pro trading candlestick patterns and check out those five candlestick patterns they are capital performance candlestick patterns and they deal with price action and what needs to really happen to make sure there isn't inflation. When we have inflation, capital doesn't really perform. And there's poor capital performance. So when you look at those chart patterns, that's really what they're speaking of is capital performance. So check those out. You can also get some more information at cisevents.wordpress.com. You can go to my website there, and there's a whole lot of content there to sort of look through and some information about the pro trading seminars that are available also so let's get started if you go to the upper left hand part of your chart the upper left hand section you can select the column that brings up all of your time frames now when you select that column you can select each of your time frames individually if you go to the right hand side and index them by favorites it will place them at the top of your chart just like you see right here. So we're going to begin with the monthly chart view and on the monthly chart view I'm just going to start identifying key levels as we go all the way back to our one minute chart. So first up on the monthly we have a key arrowhead reversal from the 115 level up to the 118.50 level showing price action up to the 120.50 area. We also have a market making, a significant market making low down at the 111 region. We have some diamond like price action at this low but it isn't a true diamond pattern so I'm just going to sort of mark that high region around that 114 level that's going to be key also. And we have one key market making level around the 117 even area. So let's take a look just a little bit further back on this monthly, see if I see anything. I do. I see a diamond pattern breakout on at the 109. So we had a diamond pattern off of this bottom before this most recent uptrend on the monthly between 104 and 109 with a breakout at 109. Let's take a quick look at this weekly. On this weekly I don't see much right away except for a couple of market making areas and I have one sort of mark there so I'm just going to leave that there. We have another one right there and we have a piercing high bullish candle with another key market making area there. I'm not going to worry about the other one that came in on the spirit pattern but that is a spirit pattern where we have that piercing high, that long wick and then we come back into it and then sell down. That's a spirit pattern. Look at the daily chart. On the daily chart, we have a key diamond top reversal. So there's a diamond right here at the very top. Inside bar, outside bar, inside bar. That's between 114.12 and 113. It looks like 113.60. Our entry for that is around the 113.70 area. So if you were to take this diamond short, you were to play this diamond short, your exit for that would be right down here into this market making area around the 112.95 region. So you're looking at a good 90 pips roughly on that trade. 80 to 90 pips on that daily. We have two little top tail dojis there on that uh, daily chart also. 
On the four hour chart, we have a key market making area around the 112.97, so I'm going to mark that. We have another key market making area right around the 113.10. You can see where we've already come up into that today and come back down. We have an outside bar currently on this four hours, so I'm going to mark that key level at the low. That's 112.73, and I already have that high marked on that. On this four hour, we also had a diamond at the top on the swing high. So you see inside bar, outside bar, inside bar. So I'm going to mark that diamond reversal. Our entry on that diamond was at the 113.85.86 area. So if you were to get in that, it's less than a 20 pip risk. And then this diamond breaks down. It's 25 pips to the breakout point. So that's $250. Our first pro trader exit level was at the 113.35 area. So that's from the initial trade, you're looking at 50 pips, that's $500. Our second pro trader condition is right at the 112.90 region. So at that 112.90 area, you're looking at almost 100 pips on that four hour chart to trade using pro trading method. A look at the one hour chart we had a diamond reversal right here I'm going to sort of move my chart around a little bit at the 112.85 area that was yesterday on the time frame now on this diamond reversal that's a diamond at the top with a short below the 112.85 so our entry on that is in between this range of the 112.93 all the way up when price moves against these patterns it's not capital productivity it's it's inflation so up to this 113.15 area all the way down to this 113.05 is the key range of entry to get into that short we actually hit that short late and got in at 190 at the 112.97 area and just captured 12 pips on it at the end of the day Zoom my chart back across here. You can see where I marked those key levels on that short when that price moved up against that diamond pattern. And there's a lot of pressure against it when price moves against those pro trading patterns because they have to do with capital performance. And so today we moved right up into that region and came right back down with this pin bar on this one hour chart. So there was a little pin bar play there on the one hour. Have a little bit of an outside bar area. I've got that marked. And on this one hour, we have a market making area down around the 112.70 level. Quick look at the 15 minute chart. I don't see much on this 15 minute except for this diamond at the top. We do have a very large diamond pattern with a bluish low pin short signal. So if we were to get in this trade and play based on our pro trading principles from 112.98 we had a trade from 112.98 all the way to the 112.79 area so I'm going to mark that there also and I'm going to mark the market making low at 112.73 quick look at the five minute chart I'm going to zoom this out a little bit so you can see on these shorter time frames how we navigate exactly to these longer term pro trading technical levels and you can see where price moves right up to these levels and anytime you have a reversal that happens in one of these hanging areas it usually identifies a pro trading pattern or some kind of pro trading methodology or principle and on this one here is a diamond pattern on this five minute chart so we're in the middle of a, uh, a short on a diamond five minute uh, we're right at target one and we're looking here right around the one twelve seventy nine and a half area for target two on that five minute so we can go inside our one minute chart and see what we look like on that one minute I want to zoom this one minute out just so you can sort of see how price moves through these longer term pro trading technical levels and then I'll zoom it back in 
And I don't see anything new in this one minute that we don't already have marked. We do have a little bit of a, a small high pin with a pin stop looking pattern. So maybe in this one minute back up to this 112.83 area. So as I go back through our longer term time frames, we're going to get a, a, an idea of what it looks like as far as potential future trading and how we can plan our trading. So this is the five minute. This is the one hour. the 15 minute and then the one hour and you can see as we get into our longer term time frames you start to see a lot of activity in the consolidation ranges as far as the technical pro trading levels that we've marked and when we get to the four hour you can really see this so when we look at this four hour what we're looking at is any trading from 113 16 and above we're going to see some price action any trading Below the 112.70 area, we're going to see some cross action. So between 113.16 and 112.70, that's a 46 pip range. There's a lot of consolidation. We're going to see a lot of capital price action performance patterns from the pro trading method inside that range as cross sort of navigates through some of these pro trading technical levels. Look at the daily chart. On the daily chart we show not much significant until we get above 114.10 and then we see a lot of price action opportunity from 114.10 to 115.10. And then on the low side if we break this 112.70 we don't see much of anything until we get down to about the 111.20 to 111.00 even range. So you can go to your longer time frames after you cycle through all of your time frames using the ProTrader technical levels and the methods and principles from ProTrading to identify those key technical levels and it gives you a great view as to where your trading opportunities are going to be on your daily, weekly, and monthly charts. And then we can go all the way back to our one minute. And you can see where we're at on that one minute. I was looking for a move up to that 112.83 and we got that move. I'm going to flip over very quickly while we have our levels from our pro trading uh, technical analysis using our time frames and I'm going to activate the pro trading CIS GG Prometrics trading view toolkit algorithm so that you can see what those signals are and I'm going to zoom that in this will change all of the candle colors to where those candle colors are to the pro trading candlestick system so we'll use the pro trader value and the core value and then you can see the algorithm step and right now we're pushing toward that algorithm step target back off that 112.83 right back down that's actually a pro metric reversal on that one minute chart so we should see a little bit of a move at least a push we're right there at the target it's right around the 112.81 area we might see a push down through there and then I'm going to go to the five minute and you can see where we are on our key levels fifteen minute with the Prometrics algorithm have a little top tail doji short play with a Prometric reversal on that fifteen minutes so there's a short available right there not much to it looking at maybe from where we are about a pip and a half but it's a pip and a half that's available in the market that's the one hour view showing a little bit of an, a shadow bottom there on that one hour after that pin bar moved down have a nice top tail doji outside bar on the four hour 
could possibly set up a dominant reversal in the next four hour period so we can kind of watch that on that four hour in this consolidation range especially if cross just sort of bounces around and in inside of these technical levels we'll have a dominant reversal to the upside on the four hour and then it could possibly break that outside bar break low so an outside bar is typically a false break to the upside and a false break to the low side so it's a consolidation pattern Look at our daily Prometrics algorithm signals. We're still short for the day from our diamond pattern at the top. Our Prometrics have come up a little bit from that peak low. And they're right now at 112.52 and we're trading up around 112.80. So if we were to stay here and close here for the day, it would pull our Prometrics up even further tomorrow. And you'll see that effect right away as soon as the candle opens. On our weekly chart, we do have a pro metric reversal for this week. Again, I do have an idea posted for the Euro US dollar playing this trade short this week from over the weekend. And one reason why is this pro metric reversal. There were signs of that with the top tail doji you see right there. And on the monthly, we have sort of a consolidation with some bullish pressure showing some upside diamond-like price action, but not a true diamond. There's no prometric reversal there to put some power into it. But on that monthly, do keep in mind that we have this 115 area up to this 118.50 area where we have an arrowhead pattern that should play out to the 120.50. That doesn't mean... When price starts moving against it, it's really unproductive, and you can see that in the, the price action, how unproductive it is. That doesn't mean we can't have a peak lower, but if we do, it is definitely a buying opportunity on that monthly chart back up above that 118.50. So I'm going to turn off the algorithm. And that's just a simple introduction and review of how to set up time frames, use time frames, apply some of the pro trading principles and methods to some technical levels analysis where we can get an idea as to how to really plan out our trades both short term we're looking at a one minute chart and our longer term if we're looking at a daily chart and, and the, the types of decisions that we're looking at making from intraday to a daily weekly monthly perspective once again i'm jc and this is trading view toolkit